Cześć i czołem moi mili, witam was bardzo serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku z Kingdom Come Deliverance. Tak jak was poprzednio zostawiłem z nieodpowiedzią na ich prośbę odnośnie czy pójdziemy odrzucić, obrzucić łajnem dom y, Niemca, który bezcześcił, no bezcześcił może źle się wyrażał o, o panującym królu, czy jednak odmówimy. I teraz wam powiem tak. Pamiętacie o tym tego kolesia, którego y, pobiłem, aby odzyskać y, rzeczy, które wyprodukował dla niego mój ojciec? Znaczy Henry'ego ojciec, Henryka. On na mnie zapłacił, więc spuściłem mu lanie. Y, poprzednie mi razy, jak podchodziłem do tej gry, no to niestety, ale albo on mi spuścił manto, albo po prostu odpuściłem sobie i ja się z nim nie tłukłem. Więc w momencie, kiedy on mi spuścił lanie, albo ja się z nim nie tłukłem, tutaj wchodzę w to, gdy kliknę, e, obrzucimy łajnem jego chałupę i zacznie nas ścigać straż. Mój ojciec będzie niezadowolony e, i oni mi pomogą odzyskać rzeczy od tamtego człowieka. No ale z racji, że ja już sobie z tamtym człowiekiem poradziłem, Powiedziałem wam, jak wygląda sytuacja, gdy pójdę i obrzucę łajnem jego chałupę. Wybierzemy teraz drugą opcję. Nie wchodzę w to, bo jestem mega ciekawy, jak to się dalej rozwinie, gdy im odmówię. Także nie idziemy obrzucić łajnem chałupy. Mhm. Czyli nic takiego. Normalnie, jakbym przyjął od nich. Ciekawe, czy jeszcze da radę. No, 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 jakby dało. Radę pogadać. Nie, nie da się. No nic. W każdym razie, jakbym przyjął od nich e, tą propozycję i poszedł obrzucić łajnym chałupę, ta chałupa to jest właśnie o ten oto dom. Tutaj byśmy przybiegli, byśmy złapali za kupę łajna, obrzucili ten dom. Oczywiście to wszystko byłoby w sekwencji filmowej, przy, przy w kadcenki. O, właśnie biegnął, proszę bardzo. Chyba nawet, chyba nawet biorę w tym udział w tym momencie. Bo chyba według nich... Tak. Tak, tak. Widzicie? Jednak, mimo to, że odmówiłem, sam jestem zaskoczony. Bo mimo to, że odmówiłem, wraz jestem z nimi, żeby od, obrzucić łajnem ich chałupę. Także, dobra, mimo to, jedziemy z tym. So are we doing this or not? Wait, we have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> Because you're the clever one. Yeah. Dobra, teraz musimy pójść tutaj do tej żoneczki i ją przekonać. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard. That sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. No i dobra, ona sobie właśnie pobiegła uratować, więc zaczynamy. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that trailer ten, in the pillar. Ten Niemiec dopiero co sobie odmalował chałupę. That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, Dosius! 
You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans! I'll make those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that! Nie dobra teraz lanie się po mordach. Dobra, ten już ma dość. Dobra, trzeba stąd wyjść, bo zaraz przyjdzie straż. No właśnie, ta kobita. Ja już sobie stąd pójdę. Jednemu lanie sprawiłem. No i ucieknij z kompanami. No i właśnie my sobie uciekamy. Normalnie to oni by pobiegli. Wam już pokazuję, w które to miejsce. By pobiegli sobie tutaj gdzieś. O. Właśnie tutaj i byśmy sobie zaraz porozmawiali o tym, jak to skopać temu oprychowi, temu moczy mordzie tyłek. No ale niestety, niestety bądź nie. Ja już sobie z nim poradziłem, aczkolwiek jestem bardzo ciekaw, jak będzie wyglądała sytuacja, kiedy oni już właśnie tutaj... O kurde, właśnie przybiegła straż. Jednak nie uciekłem tym razem straży, więc szybciutko jeszcze biegniemy. Może tym razem się uda. Biegniemy, biegniemy, może się uda, kurde. Tego się nie spodziewałem. <śmiech> o, ucieknij. Dobra. Chyba się udało. Tak. <śmiech> udało się. Proszę bardzo, spotkaj się z chłopakami u Kunesza. Tylko ja nie wiem, po co w takim razie u Kunesza muszę się spotkać, skoro ja już sobie z nim poradziłem. No, z czystej ciekawości pójdę. Czyżby Kunesza dostał jeszcze raz pysk? Nie no, aż, aż tak podły to ja nie jestem. <śmiech> Także odwołam chłopaków, jeśli oczywiście będę w stanie to zrobić. Dobra, ja już jestem na miejscu. Już jeden biegnie, drugi biegnie. I zaraz powinien pojawić się trzeci. No i proszę bardzo. I wszyscy jesteśmy na miejscu. Mateusz. Rycek i Maciej. Rozmawiamy. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Dobrze, że Johanka nas ostrzegła. Niezła robota u Niemca. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> Czyli już nic, nic więcej nie będzie. Rozeszliśmy się. Spoko. Dobra, w takim razie pójdziemy jeszcze po piwo dla mojego ojca. E, bardziej dla ojca Henry'ego. No ale dobra. Prośćmy to dla mojego ojca. Pójdziemy po piwo. O, tu nie ma. O, tu łazi. 
Proszę bardzo. Nie mogę z nią jeszcze porozmawiać. O, proszę bardzo. No i teraz tak, zapisywanie gry. Zapisywanie gry odbywa się za pomocą trunków. Muszę wypić tego zbawiennego sznapsa i dopiero wtedy gra się zapisuje. W momencie, w którym ja tego chcę. W przeciwnym razie muszę iść i spać. Bo inaczej gra się nie zapisze. Taka ciekawostka. No, bla, Blanka, Bianka. Także taka ciekawostka, że tutaj gra, gry nie mogę tak sobie po prostu zapisać. Oczywiście mogę, ale tak jak już powiedziałem, muszę się napić sznapsa. No, oczywiście to będzie miało wpływ na mnie mm, taki, że będę pijany. Delikatnie wstawiony. Dobra, teraz jeszcze to rękojeść czy coś takiego. With you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? I've just been to the tavern. The Deutsch was saying all kinds of shit about how Sigismund should be king. That bastard. One day he'll get his teeth knocked down his throat if he doesn't shut up. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik. And the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Dobra, teraz czas wrócić do ojca i ukończyć miecz. Time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. No, nic nie powiedział na to, że jestem obdrapany. Także spoko. Także coś będzie. Mm. 
Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Oh, damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. Then fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? <laughs> the boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Right. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. And all without a war, he knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? You think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. The 
That's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. No już w tej izbie byłem i je przyniosłem. I teraz pytanie, czy ja te gwoździe mam? Czy ich mam? Dobra. Bo już myślałem przez pomyłkę, że je sprzedałem. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sasau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened?
take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. And what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Redzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. No i teraz pora uciekać. No, musimy teraz znaleźć tego konia. I spieprzać, gdzie pieprz rośnie. Teraz se próbuję zgwałcić. Zaraz, zaraz i pomożemy. Piąć. Dobra, już, już po mnie biegną. Kurde, dobra, odwróciłem ich uwagę. Uratowałem ją. Teraz pora uciekać. Teraz czas zwiewać. Czym prędzej.
No dobrze, nie ma, bo właśnie krwawie. A oni cały czas za mną biegną. I strzelają. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tatars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Who is that? I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. 
You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? <laughs> Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. I w jaki oto sposób dostaliśmy się, ocalaliśmy, gra została zapisana. No moi mili, na obecną chwilę mam troszeczkę swobody i tu chwilę pospaceruję. Jednak ja w tym momencie wam bardzo dziękuję za uwagę. Zapraszam już na następny odcinek z Kingdom Come Deliverance, aby dowiedzieć się jaka historia czeka nas dalej. Także serdecznie zapraszam. I do następnego. Trzymajcie się. Cześć. Please tell me what happened in Scalitz.